Welcome to Cambridge House Live. I'm Bridget Anderson at the Canadian Investor Conference Vancouver. And with me is Jeremy Martin, the Director of Business Development with Cambridge House. Nice to see you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me, Bridget. Tell us about the Canadian Investor Conference. It is a bit of a departure from the previous conferences that Cambridge House has done. So how is this one different? Absolutely. Well, you know, this is the first launch of this conference and the way that it's different is that we've really reached outside of the resource and the exploration space and brought together opportunities from across the public markets, whether it's technology, real estate, um, things like medical marijuana, various life sciences, technologies, um, they're all coming together under one roof here. So it, it's really creating a wide spectrum for the investor to see multiple opportunities in multiple sectors versus just focusing on one industry. And you have actually seen some different investors come in the door as well. Absolutely. That's one of the, uh, the, the nice things about this is that we are seeing this new breed, this new generation of investor coming through the door. Um, the resource investor is, is one that, um, you know, is, is more often than not a lifelong investor in the resource space. In the last four years, we've serviced over 25,000 of them across the country through our various shows. So bringing in the new opportunities, the new deals, the new ideas, attracts that new, uh, that new type of investor that maybe isn't interested in resource or exploration, interested in new types of deals, but then also gets them exposure to these other types of deals that are across the board for Canadian public companies. And, you know, when I was looking around the room a little bit yesterday, I saw some younger investors, which was a bit surprising. It is, and it's really great to see. You know, more times than not, I'm the youngest guy in the room, <laughs> and so seeing some people my age is really, uh, is really important. And I think it's good for young people to know that you need to be out actively seeking and, and, and inquiring into uh, your investment, your portfolios, and things like that in your future, because you know, simply getting a four-year degree and getting a nine-to-five job won't get you ahead anymore. You need to be investing personally and financially in yourself. And you spoke to some of these younger investors, and what were they telling you about why they were here? Absolutely. Well, you know, they, they're interested in, in growing portfolios. They understand you've got to get your capital working for you. You can't sit there and sim simply collect a paycheck for your whole life. So they were really interested in, in a lot of the tech deals that are here. We have some, some 3D printing companies. We have some uh, early cancer detection uh, uh, applications and things like that. We have, you know, electric uh, go-karts and all kinds of really unique types of products that are on the floor and that's really captivating the younger audience. It's sort of things that they see and use in, in, um, in their day-to-day -day life versus, I guess, some of the mining and exploration companies, which there doesn't seem to be as as many in, in the eyes of the young investor practical applications for. Well, and a, a surprise, I think, for some people is seeing the inclusion of medical marijuana companies. Yeah, this has really exploded with uh, with some great force, and I think the majority of them, the young investor, the young individual, you know, is of the mindset that it should just be legal. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing some of the baby steps uh, coming into this. I had a, a great conversation with Jody Emery, um, you will be as well, where you know it, it's these baby steps getting into it. If we can get the medical marijuana licenses happening, get it in the hands of one of one out of five individuals, eventually it'll become. Um, legalized across the board and then the growth potential for that industry is, is, is truly tremendous. No kidding, there is a lot of growth potential. Now what you spend a lot of time on, the, on these shows just walking the floor and talking to investors and talking to some of the people in the booth, so what are you hearing about the markets? Well, I'm hearing a bit of a mix. You really, I think, now need to be more selective than you ever have been in the past. There are hundreds and or, or there's thousands of opportunities to invest. Mm -hmm. Um, overall, the, the majority of people are slightly bearish for, for the resource sector and are, are maintaining that way. However, there is opportunity out there. I've talked to a number of people who are, who are, who are investing and making money right now. Uh, but I think it, it boils down to being very, very selective. You can't throw um, a bunch of money at the wall, 20 deals, and hope that you know one of them works out. You need to be much more selective with that process. Um, as far as some of the other sectors, they are rip-roaring ready to go. Um, there's a lot of excitement about some of these new technologies that are coming out uh, in a variety of sectors, and it's, it's exciting. So what are some of the things that have excited you? I know you mentioned the 3D printer and the early cancer detection. Is there anything else uh, looking around the room that's really uh, caught your eye? You know, for me, it, it's a mix of, of the application, but also about the people. I mean, if, if there's a quality deal, and it can be just about any product or any property or, or, or project, um, it's about the enthusiasm of the individual that, that, that's putting it together. And it can, uh, you know, so it's more about 
finding the right people to make the product move. And that's what's great about the conferences, is being able to see them face to face, you know. I'm, I'm of an internet generation where we do all of our, our research online, but coming to these shows and, and meeting those individuals and seeing who steps apart from the crowd is really what's more interesting a lot of the time than, than the actual uh, products. So this is the first uh, conference of, a con of its kind for Cambridge House. What is Cambridge House's growth plan going forward? Well, our growth plan is to continue to deliver conferences that are able to educate Canadian investors and create opportunity and a forum where they can seek out new opportunities and deals. Um, the growth plan is to continue doing Canadian investor conferences, maintain the resource conferences, and also launch some additional tech conferences. Um, we've been doing, uh, well, we launched the the Cantec Investment Conference in, in Toronto uh, had great success. We're looking at redoing that. And really, it's about educating and connecting the investors with the, the investment opportunities. So in any way that we can do that and enhance that experience around the shows, that's what it's all about. Thanks very much for the update, Jeremy. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rob.